If you are looking for the best stand mixers, this video is for you. Here is the 3 best stand mixers to buy. Don't forget to check the link in the description for pricing. Number 1. Best for home kitchens. KitchenAid Artisan Stand Mixer. Reasons to buy. Sturdy. Powerful. Simplistic. Reasons to avoid. Head blocks access to the bowl. Lackluster whipping. The KitchenAid Artisan Stand Mixer is a quality, mid-sized, tilt-head mixer. Despite its average dimensions, the Artisan mixed it up with the best in class in three out of four of our test metrics. It's powerful enough to knead dough quickly and thoroughly and mix frosting to the highest standards. Home cooks probably won't have to break out the spatula too often, thanks to the mixing quality and slightly gapped design of the attachment and bowl system. The Artisan is stable when operating at its top mixing speed. We enjoyed the user-friendliness of this model and had no trouble performing all the essential tasks one-handed. We experienced some minor speed regulation issues despite the burly motor and components. This flaw was most noticeable when whipping cream and eggs at high settings, which explains the whisk splattering from sporadic acceleration and saggy sponge cake resulting from inconsistent egg aeration. Add ingredients while actively mixing, and you'll find the KitchenAid Artisan easily gets spattered. However, this is the case for all models with a motor above the bowl. All in all, these issues are minimal when you account for the quality experience. Number 2. Best Mini Stand Mixer. KitchenAid Artisan Mini. Reasons to buy. Compact. Ample power. Great kneading action. Very sturdy. Reasons to avoid. Lower mixing capacity. Struggles to blend very dense mixtures. The KitchenAid Artisan Mini is our favorite small capacity mixer for one key reason. It offers the ability to mix small batches without sacrificing any craftsmanship or performance. Not every home chef wants to spend the whole day baking for the masses, which is why this mixer makes sense for cooks who are only baking for two to three people. It's also great for homes with limited shelf space or even diehard bakers living the RV life. The Artisan Mini's 250-watt motor and 3.5-quart mixing bowl are the perfect size for whipping up a loaf of bread or a dozen cookies. Considering its stature, we simply love this mixer's sturdiness and balance. It can plow through the thickest doughs but still has the finesse to whip perfect egg whites, and it can handle complex mixtures without pulverizing the individual ingredients. Best of all, it's simple to use, compact, and easy to clean. We have very few complaints when it comes to this powerful mini mixer. Our biggest criticism is the lever that locks the motor head in the up or down position. It is manually operated and quite easy to forget to lock. This is problematic, especially if the head is tilted up, left unlocked, and then accidentally bumped so that it falls into a perfectly whipped meringue. When creaming butter and sugar together, the flat beater consistently forms a distinct ring of ingredients on the inside of the bowl, which requires a few too many reps with the spatula. But all told, we just love this little mixer. It's the perfect combination of size and power and it checks nearly all the boxes when it comes to performance. Number 3. Best Overall Stand Mixer. KitchenAid 6QT. Professional Bowl Lift. Reasons to buy. Large bowl. Easy to use. Beefy motor, components. Reasons to avoid. Large. Heavy. Expensive. The KitchenAid 6QT. Professional Bowl Lift makes your home kitchen feel a little more like a commercial one. This bowl lift mixer boasts precision craftsmanship, one-handed operation, and enough mixing power to simulate a minor earthquake. The abundant power translates to dough kneading, cookie mixing, and frosting whipping ascendancy. When the mixer's work is complete, the bowl lift makes cleanup a cinch. This design eliminates the hinge where the head and neck meet, as with tilt head models, meaning there are fewer nooks and crannies where frosting and crumbs can build up. Though we appreciate the convenience of the bowl lift, it only has two settings, fully up or fully down. If the bowl is fully up, there is space between the bowl and the attachment. When mixing small batches, you must aid the machine with a spatula to incorporate ingredients stranded on the bowl's bottom and sides. Additionally, the fixed head design often requires lowering the bowl when adding large quantities of dry ingredients. In reality, all mixers have these types of issues, many to a greater degree than this one. All things considered, 
The problems solved by the KitchenAid professional far outweigh those left unresolved.